Sacramento boys, since y'all got something to say about what Charleston White say about the N-I-G-G-A, how about this, China boy? Where y'all get y'all recipe? Oh, that nigga's cap, man. He's cap. Black, real black. I don't believe that is. Come see me in the churches, man. We'll, we'll, we'll holler about that. You will see how we live. real black niggas. You'll see how we live, man. N-I-G-G-A. That's us. <laughs> Bro, weird man. That's a that's, that's, that's one weird ass character, man. For real, yeah, people, man. Yeah. Bro, hella weird, man. Like, I mean, I understand that's his game, that's his hustle, that's how he. Eat. All right, now I know y'all just seen this bullshit. I can't believe it. This is like a whole Dave Chappelle show skit that has come, you know, come back to life. You remember when the when the when the Asian guy was singing the the Negro spirituals and the slave chain line. This that has literally come to real life. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not. I've been in Cali. My grand, my grandpa lives in Cali. You know, I used to go visit there. You know, in the summers and, and whatnot. And I know that uh, black culture or hip hop or rap cultures, it, it, it's it's transcended amongst you know just the black community. But what I don't like is people choose to take you know, from the black culture, what they want. They want to, they want the worst image as possible of us. And they want to imitate that. And it's not, and black people do it too. You know, look at, look at how black studs dress, you know, the, the, the women that, you know, think that they're men or, you know, born men or, or whatever. I'm not going to get into all that. Look how they dress. They don't dress, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a man, like a, they, they dress how they, they dress like, like how thugs basically. You know, how everyone wants to perceive, you know, black men as being negative stereotypes of how, you know, thugs dress. W one thing they don't get about when, when rappers used to dress a certain way, it was it was an act. It's an act. It's not real. You know, j just because, you, you know, all the, the tats now, the dreads, you know, back in the days it was cornrows and, 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 and baggy jeans and whatnot. They took the worst of the culture and, and they, they're making it mainstream, basically. You know, and I know a lot of people, somebody brought it to my attention. They was like, well, you know, in the 70s when all those, um, when when Bruce Lee first came on came on the scene that a lot of blacks got influenced with martial arts and stuff like that. And, and people, the, the United States in general got immersed in Asian culture because of the Kung Fu movies and stuff. And that's true. But the Kung Fu movies and martial arts, that wasn't like the worst of the Asian culture. It wasn't like their, their sub, you know, you know, they're, they're lowest of the low. It's like if everybody starts pretending like they're a part of the Asian mafia or something like that. Or, or if, you know, what if Asians had a, a really, really big, like, gang problems in, in certain areas of the world and people just wanted to imitate that and and make it seem like that it was something cool. That ain't cool, man. Ain't nothing cool about that. They not imitating Barack Obamas. They not imitating the, the, the Martin Luther Kings of the world, the, the Dr. Boynes Watkins. These are the men that you know I seen growing up. Yeah, you you know you you got everybody got thugs and their families and gang members and stuff like that. But that's a very low percentage of 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 like real black men in America, and they keep pushing this stuff out there to try to make it seem like we all savages, we all subhuman, and and to see that that Asian guy just sit back and casually say the n word, I I felt some type of way about it. Because if you did, you know, love black people as much as you said you did, you would have enough respect for us not to, to you know, still be yourself, but still, you know, immerse yourself in the culture. Acting like the the worstest of the worst black person in the world and using that word, that's that's the hundred percent disrespect. And to those black people that was sitting around him, that that's, that's giving them passes on doing that stuff, y'all ain't no better, you know. And you know, it it, it couldn't rock. It couldn't rock. I, I don't know, you know, I think there's in Sacramento or something like that, but I, I'm in the Midwest. That that wouldn't happen. If people wanted to act like that, they would have to act like that oh, um, away from, you know, black people. You couldn't, you couldn't, you can't walk around as no character, character of uh, of me and expect me to be cool with you and expect you to do it. I, you know, I don't have white friends that will start, you know, growing up, they'll start acting a certain way. And uh, we we had to take a few of them to the side, like, you know, man, 
you know, you like the music and whatnot and this, that, third. But, you know, we like you for being yourself. You don't got to act like that. And, and it's, it was like groups of them. So I got a nice mixture of, of, of friends, you know. So I, I agree with some of the things that Charleston White was saying. I understand that they will be offended by Charleston White because, you know, a lot of people get offended when he go to talking that crazy shit like that drunk uncle stuff. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not dissing them for uh, defending themselves against him. But when he called them out on saying that N word and how they casually, you know, say it, he was right about that. And they need to chill out. And to the, also to the stud women, like, that's, it ain't cool. If, if you think you a man or, or whatnot, that's cool. But don't go out here, just keep on portraying negative stereotypes of real black men because these are, these are consequences that I have to live with when I walk outside the door because a certain amount of people dress in a certain way or act in a certain way. And it's putting this negative negative uh, connotation in people's minds when we leave the door, when my son gets older and gets to walking out into the world because people want to throw this image around that we, you know, crazy thug gangsters and all this other stuff. Like, dude, that stuff is a fairy tale. Yeah, you know, the streets is real. The streets is a real thing. But those aren't the majority of black males or black men in America. It just ain't. And for them to walk around, they, they got Halloween costumes on, basically. They got dreads. They got the, you know, Asians wear tats, too. But they got, like, kind of gang member types of black tats. They dressing, they dressing like Negroes. And they want to drop the M-bomb every other sentence. I'm, if he was bold enough to say that on camera, you know all of them is saying that when the camera goes off. All of them. They, 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 saying, they saying niggas so much is making their teeth white, as Paul Mooney would say. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, peace out to everybody.